That's right, Andrew. For years, security experts have been warning the nation's power grid is vulnerable to attack, and substations like this one are the most vulnerable part of the grid. Attacks on just a few key substations could mean lights out for millions of Americans for weeks, even months. Now, security experts here in the Pittsburgh area tell Action News investigates more needs to be done to protect substations like this one from a terror attack. The unlock gate was wide open at this massive substation in Butler County. Inside, a barbed wire fence and cameras were all that kept us from getting to the transformers that power thousands of area homes. There were no signs of private security and no one approached us. It was a similar scenario at other substations, including this one that powers downtown Pittsburgh. I stood just outside the gate. Really only a few feet away from these transformers. A camera above and walls around, but no guards at the gate, just a padlock. Nobody's come up to greet us or ask why we're here. At this West Mifflin substation, no signs of any cameras. A chain barring the entrance was taken down. Nobody's come to ask why we're here, what we want, what we're doing, no signs of any security. Does that tell you something? It tells me that there's definitely, what I was saying, is a lack of true security. State Representative Dom Costa is a former Pittsburgh police chief. You should have been confronted by a police officer, probably depending on how busy they were, before you left there. But when you can walk around the facility freely and no one challenge you, or not at least get a phone call, why were you there? There's a problem. The cameras we saw may not be enough, according to former CIA agent Zach Grove, a security consultant. Action News Investigates asked him to take a close look at this substation in Collier Township. One camera was evident on a building set far back from the transformers and the fence. I would expect there to be more uh, video surveillance coverage on a facility like this. You would want a camera covering all of the perimeter of the site because the, the aim of it is to prevent someone from coming in. From what I can see from uh, my standpoint here, I don't think that's the case here. Duquesne Light, which owns the substations in Collier, West Mifflin and downtown, declined to comment on security details of them or any others. A company spokesperson issued a statement saying its multi-layered approach to security and resiliency includes more than what can be seen publicly. A spokesman for First Energy, which owns the Butler County substation, said the security of our substations and other critical facilities is one of our top priorities at First Energy. We have a comprehensive plan for protecting our assets from a variety of threats. This surveillance video shows an actual attack on a substation, a California facility targeted by gunfire in 2013. No one was hurt and no power was lost, but 911 service went down and the attack damaged more than a dozen electric transformers. It also set off alarm bells in the power industry. It was a pretty big attack on a, on a major substation, and I think that uh, uh, and, uh, opened a lot of our eyes in the industry as to what we need to do and to get better. In the wake of that attack and a burglary at the same substation a year later, the utility added security guards, gunshot detection, and improved cameras and lighting. Those are some of the same improvements recommended by a National Academy of Sciences panel just a year before the California attack. That report found key high voltage substations are the most worrisome terrorist targets within the power transmission system. They are also difficult to protect. Their replacement parts are difficult to obtain and damage to substations can separate customers from generation for long periods. Carnegie Mellon engineering professor Jay Apt says there is no easy fix. Guards, gates and guns can be really expensive or not so expensive and so you have to take your limited pot of money and deploy it in places that make a lot of sense. Grove, the security expert, says motion detection cameras can be effective. This video shows how. The cameras ignore a dog near the substation. But when a human being enters the same field of view, video IQ detects him immediately and alerts the guard. Some systems also let the guard call out to the intruder, even if the guard is miles away at a remote location. Try and talk them down from actually doing the break-in to let them know that, hey, you're being watched right now. We see you, you need to disperse. Police are being dispatched. But Jay Apt at CMU says there is only so much that can be done to protect substations from attacks. Making them invulnerable, it's not in the cards. Just too expensive? Too expensive and for a determined attack are probably not feasible.
Now, the good news here, according to that CMU professor, is that weather is much more likely to disable the power grid than terrorists. He did a study a few years ago and found fewer than 1% of the blackouts on the power grid were caused by deliberate attacks. Weather, on the other hand, was responsible for about half of all blackouts. Reporting live in Collier Township, Paul Van Osdall, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.